Hi, my name is Josh Blakesley. Welcome to The Commons. I'm going to play the song Beautiful Is Your Love and talk a little bit about it. So let's get started. It's not that hard to um, create a bridge, lyrically speaking, from songs about um, communion in the liturgy, communion songs, and songs to sing during a holy hour or in adoration. Um, I mean, because literally what flows from the mass, uh, what flows from the body of Christ is, is what we are 
um, it's, it's, the, it's the body of Christ that we are staring into when we are in uh, a holy hour or when we're in adoration. So with the, with the creation of Beautiful Is Your Love, I really wanted to, to create a song that, that could operate in both places. But I, but I really wanted to, um, to speak intimately to that moment where, um, where the individual, you know, in, in the writer's perspective, in this case, me, uh, where I could sit and speak to Jesus in an intimate way and have him speak back to me. And, and what does that look like? What does that sound like? Um, and so I, I sat with, uh, with Mark Bird, who you might know from uh, God of Wonders, and uh, with, with Sarah Hart, who you might know from every song, all the songs. Uh, and, and we kind of talked about that intimacy, that, that time of adoration where, where we really are um, just alone with Jesus. And um, what's, what's beautiful about that is um, it, it, a lot of things come from that. There's like, there's gratitude, there's thankfulness, you know, there's, um, but there's also this understanding of the relationship of Jesus Christ with his brothers and sisters, God, the father with his daughters and sons. Um, and so it's, it's such a beautiful and intimate relationship. And, and so we set out to kind of capture that emotion uh, lyrically, but also musically as well. Um, oh, how beautiful is your love for me. Um, so, so lyrics like that um, all throughout the song, kind of trying to really speak into the heart of, of the emotion um, when, when we sit and adore the Lord but also the notion that he sits and adores us as well, that we are loved by him. Um, oh, how beautiful is your love for me, for your child. Um, so, so there's this, be- I think this beautiful back and forth throughout this song where, where, where as a singer you come and you adore the Lord through this lyric, but also um, you allow him to love you back. And so uh, it's a song of praise, right? It's a song of gratitude and thanksgiving and, and honor and adoration before God. Um, Jesus, Jesus, oh, how beautiful is your love. But it's also, it's also a, um, as though Jesus is singing over us, um, it, naming the things that he's done for us. He laid down his life. Um, the offering that he is for us. So, so that's kind of the, the impetus behind, um, behind the lyric and what's happened emotionally. Um, it, it is a very, um, it's, it's a, it's a song of reflection. Um, so I hope that you can use it in your parish for either for communion or, or in a time of, of adoration. Um, however it best serves you and your community. But more than anything else, I I hope that it can be sung as a prayer, um, a genuine prayer before God.